Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again with the Cursed Estate and we are ready to go. We've got two new classes. I've already set up a group to go out that I think could be quite interesting. I'm a little bit worried, I'll be honest, but I think it could be quite interesting so we're going to try it out. But first of all, let's get into our new backstories and as well we have plenty of diary entries today as well. People, like you guys are really just going nuts on the diaries. It's awesome. I love it. I love people that people are so committed to this series. Um... But anyways, yeah, let's get into the backstory. So first of all, we have Alice here, which is, is our new Assaulter class. Very interested in this class. It's very heavy on mark damage, as well as um, buffing going first, which is kind of interesting. Um, so at the minute, I've just gone with a basic setup. She's more of a frontliner for us. Um, kind of an interesting class. Yeah, so let's get into the backstory. This one is by Blank Game, and it's going to tie in with Sophie, who we're taking out with us here as well. Um, so I really wanted to sort of get into that. So it's kind of phrased in the way of a diary entry from Sophie, from what I remember. Um... Anyways, let's just get into it. The first waking moments of Alice the Assaulter. Alice slowly finds himself back to consciousness after what felt like an unending nap. As, their eyes, as, as they open their eyes, they see a familiar shape to their surprise. Your Majesty, what are you doing here? This place, it's not safe. Sophie calmly walks up to Alice, grabbing him by the collar and lifting him into the air. I'm saying this once. Don't call me that. That's a title only Demet Dem Demeter? Demeter? How do you pronounce that? Demeter? A, a, a title only Demeter deserves. Where is she? I, I, I don't know. As soon as we arrived in this place, we got ambushed by unholy abominations. And Princess, D Princess Demita is safe, I think. Me and my men held off the horde for a bit. I think we saw her running away. Hmm. You're thinking now, are you? Mustn't have been very clear thinking. You're a motherfucking royal guard and you failed to guard a royal. Fair. Sophie threw um, them onto the ground, glaring coldly. I have, everything r I have every right to be mad at you. Um, Al, but you did your job to the best of your incompetent abilities. It's dangerous out here. Get up, um, and we're going to- get up and we're going to the nearby town. You were maimed pretty badly, but I expect you to spend every waking moment searching for Demeter after you recover. Just like how I have. Am I clear? Crystal clear, ma'am. It's just Sophie. Without Demeter around, I pose no actual authority over you. Very interesting. I really like these intertwined backstories. Like, just, just very, very interesting to me. Also, our next interesting class, we have the Vessel. Someone made a Hollow Knight class that isn't just a meme. It isn't just like, oh, look, it's funny, Hollow Knight. No, this is like a genuinely really well thought out class that has some really interesting abilities and will be a good addition to our, um, to our roster. Seems like it's a very move-heavy class, which we've kind of needed as of late, so I'm happy to have a move-heavy class back on our roster. This one is by uh, Dr. Savage Junkie, so we'll get into this. A knock on the Abbey door. The priest's attention is brought to a soft knocking on the Abbey door, just before the crack of dawn. He'd already been awake for quite some time in preparation of the morning service, and of course he didn't mind tending to his flock before if they came knocking. He takes a moment to prepare himself straightening what's left of his curly blonde hair and whipping his hand, um, his hands on his bare lack frock to drop the crumbs off of his breakfast onto the floor. Upon opening the door, the old priest didn't see anything at first, until he looked down. Standing before him, barely as tall as a child, was a new face, or mask rather, holding out an envelope. Hmm, you're a unique one, but who am I to question the light's grand design? He asked, mostly to himself as he bent down and grabbed the envelope to re um, read its contents. Hmm, hmm, mm-hmm, I see. Well, since you don't seem to have any malice about you, you're more than welcome to stay here during your mission, but you'll need a name. The old priest bends down to pick up the new, uh, pick the new guest up, holding them by the armpits and staring um, back into their expression, expression, expressionless eyes behind the helmet. Hmm, how about we just call you little one? The priest softly chuckles to himself as he sets the little one back down. It's not much of a name, but we men of cloth aren't known for our creativity. It will have to do until you find your voice through, sh through, through that shyness. Come in, we'll find you somewhere to sleep. 
There you go. Little one, I love it. Oh, I'm so excited to play around with this class. It literally just came out as well, like the last few weeks. So I'm really interested. But anyways, let's get into what we're actually going to do today. We're going to go into a medium level 2 wield mission. Um, and I'm hopefully going to do two missions today. And we're going with a very interesting party. We're going with Rose. We're going with Sophie, and we're going with Alice, along with Koshkin in the front. Um, this is a party that, honestly, the party was suggested by Blank Gaming, but I couldn't find the message that suggested the exact party lineup. I just remember them saying that they wanted to bring out Sophie. So, I think Sophie being part of Alice's backstory makes sense. And then we've got Rose. Rose is basically just going to be our healer, as well as suppressing fire and potentially some mark. But mainly just for healing, um... We've got the, the massive bonus to healing and should work out pretty well. Um, then we've got Sophie here who's got the massive accuracy bonuses, plus 15 to range skills and plus 12 uh, there as well. Also with the bonus speed, which I quite like. Um, so that should be pretty good. We can do some good stuff there, of course. But a benefit off of marked as well. Then Alice is coming up in se the second position. She has triple shot as well as the precise shot, which I'm, I'm very interested in all of these and... I like the fact that her mark buffs other other targets damage versus marks. And then, of course, we have Koshkin here, who's going mainly coming along to help us with the marking. I and mean, he's got the double sword set up, which I just find funny. Um, we also have an interesting thing here, the Salamander, which is going to be on attack, gain torch. Which, I mean, I think that means we really don't have to bring many torches with us out, out with us at all. So, we've got that going for us. So, let's uh, grab some provisions here. And move on. So we'll grab. We'll grab like. We'll grab 18 food. Three of those, three of those, three of those. Actually, we don't need that many of them. And then torches. I'm only going to bring 10 torches. Because we, we might need them for curios, but. Otherwise, we don't really need them. Um, and yeah, let's just embark and and try out this this group. I'm really intrigued with this. I mean, I like it that um, it's just all the range characters plus Koshkin. Let's jump into the wheel. And like I said, we have plenty of diary entries to get through today. People have been uh, submitting quite a lot of them. We have a multiple stage one here, which I'm not going to read all in one go this time. So thank you. Um... This is by Gigol Guy. I believe this is for Navar. Um, so I, I I really like the, how how we're doing with Navar so far. So Navar so far. So whoa, that was weird to say that. Anyways, me and the uh, me and sorry, me and three others. Um, I was sent out with were tasked with making a map of the westernmost edge of the island chain. After all, if we ever need to confront a major spirit, knowing of places for strike teams to hide is essential. Or so Blaze said. I'm, ju I'm just happy to be allowed to take point and use my niche drawing skills for once. I was also able to peek a qu um, quick sniff of my companions during our second camp night. Thank goodness they were asleep. I really like the fact that there's this strange thing with Navarre smelling people. It's such a strange, like, quirk, but I, I, I don't know, I really enjoy it. It's such a, it's such a nice addition to a character. Uh, so that's, like, the first part of that, and then we'll also... Uh, jump into another one here. Let me just... I've got them all in a big list here, so I'm just trying to find them. Uh, da, 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 da. My god, we did a lot of chatting. Okay, so we got another one here. This is um, Helen and um, Delmar, the Doctor and the Exterminator. This is by Penn Simmons. Helen holds a vial of greenish liquid in her gloved hands, looking at it closely. Oh, <clears throat> be careful with that. Delmar says with a cough while holding an oxygen mask to his mouth. Helen ignores him and instead says, So this is the culprit. Though, um, though a question Delmar knows not to answer, she knows. Um, Chloridin, Diazion, and DDT. A good strong combination, uh, for, to be sure, but hell on the lungs. Delmar reclines on his couch, clutching the mask tight. The only way he can breathe these days is um, without the full suit. Bad seal on the face covering and 20 years of service, he says, matter-of-factly. Death, she comes for me. Helen tell, uh, turns, her pale skin glowing in the dim light and eyes sparkling. Or I can cut you open and pull those puppies out, um, throw some less damaged lungs in and call it a day. Delmar weakly chuckles, maybe give me a week to see if I, um, I live. Helen plops down next to him and quietly says, you're a hero, you know that right? Those that live not knowing the pain of the plague have you to thank. Thanks, Hell. Same to you. 
I would have been dead ten times over um, if they kept GR practicing in secret. You and the other ravens kept us exterminators alive. And now we're back together, warring against the dark. Chemicals and scalpels, the unsung warriors fighting the invisible demons in the dark. The clink glasses of amber, amber liquid. Cheers. Helen, with an uncharacteristically uncharacter serious turn. I do want to help you, not just experiment on you. You do know that, right? Dalmar looks to Helen straight in the eyes. Yes, Dr. Makov. I know. You are my doctor, and I never saw you as anything but a good doctor. Helen hugs Delmar, Delmar tightly. Don't die, old man. I need you. And Delmar hugs back. Is that an order, Doc? Yes, and I will do everything, everything in my power to help you. Let's do some tests. I love that, because Delmar, of course, our exterminator, he is struggling. He, as, as they said, 20 years in the service, it's doing hell on their lungs. But um, our plague doctor, potentially able to help out. I like that a lot. Oh, we've got 100% of room battles here, so we'll see what we can do. Don't actually remember what that was. Do you know what? That's actually pretty decent. I'm really excited to use these classes together though. I think it's so interesting. Unfortunately, a trap off the bat there. That's fine. And our first battle, just a bunch of creepy crawlies. I'm sure we can do a fine job against them. Um, so we can go We can go for a mark right off the bat. I kind of want to go for a mark to be honest. It, it gives you crits received as well, which is nice. Um, Try and lower the accuracy on you guys. And then I can go for triple shot here on you. Yeah. I like the way it's triple shot because her gun is a literal triple barrel. It's, it's, it's a very similar weapon to that that Sophie has, but hers is triple barreled. It's very cool looking. Mark you as well. By the way, I apologize if I'm a little... Snivelly today. I unfortunately have come down with a cold. Would rather not, but it is what it is. This would be a really good crew for a, a boss fight, I think. And... To be, fair, to be fair, we could go with one of them. Just get a stun on you. Why not? Nice dodge, Sophie. Well done. And we'll go for a strike there. A really good damage on Koshkin up front here, so he doesn't have to mark to be effective. Nice. As the enemy Hopefully we can get an extra heal in before we end this fight. So we do have some Blight, of course. I'll just mark you for now. There you go. Get that heal off. And there you go. Got a crit as well, awesome. Very nice stuff there, very nice stuff already. Push on to the task's end. Push on to the task's end. Yeah, I love these guys. They are very great. Check what's going on in here. We did get another fight. Okay, and with some backliners, we can take those out just fine. In fact, uh, I don't know, no, um, what sort of damage can we do here? We can kill if we get lucky, unfortunately we didn't. Nice. Hopefully that debuffed accuracy makes them miss. Sadly not. I had to try it though. We'll pull you forward. As the fiend falls, there you go, we get a bunch of light off of the back of that. I really like that salamander trinket. It's really cool. Finish you off. These guys were definitely going to want mark. I should heal, really, but yeah, I very much want to mark. 90% crit versus marked. Still, wow. 90% crit versus marked, and Koshkin gets the crit, though. It's fine. That purpose is made clear. And the Groken Swipe comes in. We can deal with it. We can deal with it. We'll get another mark on there. And we'll heal you up. Yeah, the heals are working fine from Rose here. I think Rose is actually a really good healer for us. 
Wow, 90... I suppose 90% crit only double... It, it, would, it almost doubles her base crit chance. It doesn't give her a 90% chance to crit, I think. I think that's how it works. Wow, we're, we're almost out of keys. I should probably want to save at least a key in case we get a secret room. But back we go. Don't worry about torching up, because getting 25 torch every time we attack is kind of crazy. Okay. Luckily, we went, we went back that way to start with, because there was two room battles there. Don't know who I'm going to take out next. We'll have to see. I definitely want to try uh, taking out, uh, like... Potentially, like, maybe a a build that where everyone moves around a lot with the vessel, with our little one. Packs laden with loot. Loudenham can go. Want supplies. Probably walk and go. Our torches could probably have gone, to be honest. Really? Okay, bandages, you can go. We're going to need those later down the line, I know that, for getting curious, but still. Ooh, we got a big boy. We got a big, big boy. Ah, oh, having the lower light caused a surprise. Which is actually pretty bad for this crew. <laughs> yeah, because of that. Just get you marked for now. Poison spores. This is going to be a bit of a rough fight, I think. Not a lot of damage versus Mark there. Vision. The end approaches. So okay though. Stress is coming in hot and fast. Ooh, 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 that's some big damage against Mark there. Not a lot of damage there, but that's what it is. We'll start going for the heals here. That's good damage. I should use that more often. The precise shot's got good damage on it. And our light's back up to an acceptable level. Ooh, we did unfortunately take on a disease there, though. Grievous injury. Wow. Palpable fear. Okay, this is an annoying fight. It's okay. You're dead now, at least. Has no intrinsic merit nice. Wow. Be considered a virtue. Good shot there. I'll have to see what disease we've got going on as well. Not what I went. Not much of what I wanted to do there, really. Oh well. She ended up back in the same spot she was already in. I right, bring you forward as well as a mark. Decent damage. Get the kill there. <clears throat> okay, not ideal. Not ideal at all. Nothing inside. Right, what disease did you end up getting? Chris, okay, so less crits uh, on targets and more crits received. Not great. Not great at all. Give us more food, which is good. Yeah, lovely. To One second. Brave. Okay, we are back. Sorry, I just got myself a drink. Right, see what we've got going on in here. Um, let's go this way first, because there might not be a room battle over there. I think we're going to have to camp in a moment. Got a battle here. Just one of the birds. Um... I'll go for a mark and crits received on you. And that's worthwhile to set us up. Start doing some healing on these front two. Nice damage. Didn't leave a parasite either, which is nice. One spit on us there isn't going to bother us too much. Hey, hey, nice damage. Okay, please get some heals on you as well. Do you know what? Let's let's try and stall and get a heal out. Of course you go for the bite. Do not blight though. Do not blight. Right, 
yeah. Beautiful. The match is struck. Ooh, we definitely want that. Blazing star is born. Uh, I'll get rid of one portrait. I could, I, I, might, I might end up getting more portraits. So that might have been a bit ill-advised, but. If only hey treasure her. could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Right, let's camp here. Something and food-wise, yet be one. We've got 24 food. We should be fine for food. Right, and let's get to some more die range before we move on. So we've got another joint one by Penn Simmons. This is between Nix and Renetta. Um, so, they are at peace. Nix taps her fingers on an old tattered book. The words of light. Um, Degeared from years of deep study as she smiles softly to Renetta. There's nothing I am more sure of, Ren. The stories of your people show that no one knew the light more than them. Than them. And no one knew the joy of life like them. That love and joy will carry them to the light. Thank you, Nyx. You are a good person. Nyx stifles a laugh. Tell that to uh, Titania. I can never read these names, sorry. Tell that to um, Titania. I don't understand. Aren't you sisters? I was discerned by the sisters of the light. Now I am a sister of the night. I want to know too much about too many things. And not all of that glorifies the light. Renetta thinks for a second, looking at the names on the back of her shield. My father taught me the day and night are siblings, not enemies. They dance in the heavens and bring comfort to their kin. Those who dwell in the darkness are not far from the light. They are just resting in the night's arms. They are still in, fa in the family of the heavens. And your father was wise and a kind man. He said... Do not view the love of the stars as hatred for the sun. The beauty beneath sisters, uh, Sister Moon is to be celebrated in kind. Without the night, fireflies would not dance. The desert would not know the comfort from the heat. And the wolf would not sing. Nyx pulls her hood back, revealing a face younger than her pain would presume. Her eyes are tired and sad despite her smile. I hope he is right. Truth shouldn't be hated by those who teach. But those words cost me a home and a family. They are also gifted. They also gifted you a new family, my sister. Renetta placed her um, scarred hand on Nix's shoulder. You are a brilliant young woman chasing knowledge, and I'm excited to see what you learn next. Amazing stuff there. Amazing stuff. Right. Let's uh, take a look at what we've got going on here. Okay, we'll go with a scouting chance. Scouting chance is always useful. Uh, do we ever prevent nighttime ambush? I don't think we do. Whoopsie, my bad. Um, go with that. We'll go with that. And then we got one more. Actually, we can do another one of them. Okay, cool. Right. We might have a nighttime ambush here. Indeed, we do. God damn it. Okay, luckily a very easy nighttime ambush, even with a with a switch around from everyone. We should be okay here. Ah, oh, really? You dodged it? You had to dodge it, didn't you? Oh wow, Koshkin, you are beautiful. Also, we get we get extra light. Normally, you don't get light in this, but we get the extra light because of this. Huzzah. You two are going down pretty quick. Well, for a nighttime ambush, this went pretty bad. Uh, pretty bad, pretty good. We don't have to worry too much at all. I'll just mark you. I guess heal you for no reason. Wow, there you go. May we find victory. There we go. That was really good. Okay, we did actually have another diary entry from Koshkin here, which I, pro I should probably jump into while we're playing as him. Um, uh, Koshkin the Bounty Hunter by Rockerin. The hunter sits um, um, amongst the cold stones of their ruins. His prey leaned against the wall. Red pooling underneath him from the wounds and shallow breathing. 
Why? Why not finish me? Want to watch me suffer, huh? No. The hunter takes off his helm, matted down black hair, and sweat from the chase. And sweat from the chase. Just a question. Why? Why? Like, why did I run? Because I didn't want to end up in prison, you daft bastard. It was three months. Was it worth it? His prayer wheezes a short laugh. Yeah, I suppose it was. Wolf would hurt me more than uh, more if I didn't. The hunter wipes his brow with a handcloth and kneels over the man wiping the blood from his mouth. Wolf, huh? So he's this town's boss. Boss? No. More like a um, patient beast waiting for his opportunity. Your boss gave him the boot and took that quite personally. So now he's waiting. The man trails off as his head droops and his body goes limp. The hunter stands up, taking a dagger from the prey. It bears a custom insignia, a wolf's head. The air should know. The monsters hide in their lairs, but some are, some are stalking the hamlet. So that's actually a reference to a boss that we could come across at some point soon um, called Wolf. There's a, a, a guy um, that can just come across your town later once you get... I, I don't remember what week he starts showing up from, but later down the line he starts showing up and he is pretty vicious um, and we, we could have to deal with him so i'm actually kind of excited to see him come up in a diary entry that's pretty darn cool actually um right let's keep on moving hopefully we don't have to go back this way definitely hopefully not now we only have one shovel left a victim to the spreading corruption malformed with misintent Move in. Oh, another battle. I'm just gonna go for the buckshot here because get good damage in everyone. Takes up the back line there as well. Okay, this might be this might be over before it even starts. Yeah, there you go. Hopefully no parasite, but otherwise that was easy. No, no parasite. We're good. Oh, come on now. I'm being given so much, like, stuff to give me money. And I need it, because I really need money at the moment. Ectoplasm here. We'll try and take him out first. We'll decrease their accuracy off the bat, though. Yeah, I really like Buckshot as an opening move when there's targets with low HP. you out first. Ooh, she's got motivational. Yeah, okay, we'll have to lock that in. Motivational is so goddamn good. Also, I think it kind of fits her, uh, her backstory a little bit, heavy motivational. I like that. like a firing squad i love it trifling victory but a victory nonetheless got this amazing firing squad to go at everything okay probably should have got rid of the torches by now i i, I don't even i need to remember that i don't need to bring torches if i bring a class with that ability oh really surprise again I keep getting surprises that in there. Embrace the dark. Bit of stress, but nothing terrible. Oh, okay. You're just going to start eating enemies. That's fine by me. Ah, I was hoping the low accuracy would save us there, but sadly not. Take you out straight away, just so you don't bother people. And you. This guy will try and get a mark on. We'll just buckshot for now because we can't move. Yeah, get that mark on. I like the lowering of dodge as well. That's pretty useful. By the way, I haven't mentioned it thus far in the episode, but if you can hear a background noise at all during the episode, I do have a fan on behind me because it's very warm in the UK right now. I apologize if it's bothersome to anyone. But it just kind of is what it is. I'm hoping it's not too loud. Oh, 
Not so bad there. Motivational again. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we're good. We can return to the hamlet here. I think we got a pretty good haul there in terms of money. Driving out corruption is an endless battle. Twenty thousand, pretty lovely. Koshkin's up to level four as well here. I did gain the worries though. We got calm mind there. Okay, so we got a few things we want to do here. First of all, let's just unequip and reorganize. Come back in here. We want to get rid of that. We want to... I want to get rid of that, but I'm honestly... I I, I really... Oh, she's got brilliant as well. I didn't realize. So she's going to level up way quicker, 75%. I definitely want to lock in motivational. It's expensive, but god damn is it worth it. We'll see who we've got else to bring on board. We have the sisters? I don't know. Your sisters are good, but I'd rather bring on someone at level 3 at this point, I think. Trinkets wise. Extra 20% healing skill there, potentially. Okay, let's see what other group we can build here to go out. So, probably, probably do a short level 2 here, maybe to the ruins. Right, let's go. So, we want to go... Little one, pandas... Renetta and Basilla, maybe? Yeah, Basilla's got a heal that works from anywhere, so. Right, and let's let's sort of work this out, how how this would go down. So let's first of all let's actually take a look at the, the vessel's moves that we've got available to us. So we've got Nail Strike, which is obviously our basic attack. We've got Piercing Slash, which is going to be um, Armor Piercing, which is rather nice. We'll go for that. We've got the Lacerating Cyclone, which doesn't matter so much for uh, going for Ruins. We've got the Crippling Lunge, which is going to be Forward 2. We've got Vengeful Spirit. There's going to be extra damage versus Marked. Interesting. Desolating Dive, which is going to be a huge forward... We've got Dream Nail as well, which is going to be a stun, and refreshes limited use skills. It's interesting, like giving us our soul back. So what's what's limited use skills? Wait, does that... Okay, it says self-limited use skills, but I don't see any of these being limited. So what is it referring to? Refresh limited use skills. None of these are limited use. Okay. A little bit confused on that behalf. But still. Um, we'll try this out. And yeah, we'll, we'll just go with these for now. I think that, that makes the most sense. And then for you, we want to get rid of that and go with Finale, I think. Good with me. And then Renetta. Okay. So let's just quickly take a check here. So... I think we want to go with that. Let's go with that as well. 10% prot, 10% max HP. Damage wise, <laughs> weirdly, Basilla's got the most damage of anyone here, apparently. That's kind of funny. Um, but I think I think for you we'll give you the uh the damage, so we'll go with this and this. Because I'm gonna lower your speed too, too much. Then Healing-wise, of course, we go there and there. Now, what do we want to give to uh, Pandas here? Maybe we'll go with this for the crit slash damage slash torch. And then we could go with extra damage on you as well. We're actually um, Stormworks. It's, it's minus 20% damage, though. 
But it would mean the friendly skill would buff a lot. So it's definitely pretty usable. Hmm. Maybe I'll just buff his max HP. Let's just do let's just do the max HP buff. Okay, so I think we have a pretty interesting um idea here for for what we're gonna play this like. Everyone should be able to um do something from somewhere. I feel like basically this is a nice tester for going in for this, the ringmaster. Because we obviously had trouble with that before, and I think movement was a problem and hitting backline was a problem. And now we can hit backline with some of these. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with how we've got this these guys laid out. So I think we're gonna go into this short ruins mission. Head to our provision screen. Grab. Twelve food. Three. I'll take two of each of these. And we'll take like four torches, because we know we're not going to need torches, really. Um, okay. So let's get into another backstory, diary entry, sorry, first. Uh, this is uh, joining on to the one for Navarre from uh, Gargoyle Guy. Lysander smells of wax and parchment. What a pleasant and safe smell. Most of our outing, he seemed to watch me and Nyx with a twisted eye, even went as far as to make a small gasp any time I got hit. If I wasn't a fool, I'd think he'd rather uh, be rather fond of me. This isn't the case, though. It's crystal clear that he worries that something bad is bound to repeat itself. I believe Nyx may have played a part in that, too. I noticed Lysander biting his lip any time they uttered those foul words. It definitely stressed him out. Overall, so long as I think that big, <laughs> sexy, marked out man, uh, pl <laughs> play the part of my shield, he'd lay down his life for me and anyone else, even Nyx. Speaking of whom, um, writing of whom even, Nyx, they smelled of dr a dry, dusty term and embalming oils. They spent combat doing burial rites, meaning only f uh, fur that most gru of the most gruesome sinners. It was glorious to see such a thing turned upon our furs. As I said before, Lysander couldn't handle their utterance. For me though, oh how they resonated with my crystals. I truly felt protected near them. I even went as far as to let them um, to let them hold and inspect my horse skull during our first camp. I must learn more about them. I feel as if they may be one of the keys to finding um, uh, one of the keys I need to find beloved. Interesting. Right, let's jump on in, and then we've got one more from that that's going to be jumping in, talking about Belize's smell. <laughs> so we'll get into that soon. Oh, lovely bit of ice water. Um, I, th I don't think I've missed any diary entries out, but yeah, please do let me know if I have, because there was a lot to go at today. Uh, anyways, let's jump in with these guys. Of course, we do have the um, Pelagic Embrace here. Which is giving us lots of extra damage and speed, which is nice. Um, can cause some problems, though. I think it can cause us to axe out. But this is a crew that I've been wanting to do for a while. A very movable crew. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Look at the, the animations in the sky are amazing. Blood. We got a flawed observer. It feels like it's been forever since we've been into the ruins. Okay, stop getting in there. The oh, wow, that's some good damage. <laughs> Lovely. And then here we can just go with buffs until we need to heal. Ah, unfortunate miss there. We can also de-stress here as well. These two are going to be swip swapping all the time. Another <laughs> okay, our little one can do some crazy good damage. Holy hell! This is this is a group that I love. I will be bringing this group out probably quite a bit because as as a movable group, they seem absolutely excellent. Absolutely excellent. Really excited to see these guys work together more.
1890. Okay, we'll definitely go with Pandas there. He's a bit crazy, but he knows how to disarm a trap. Good. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Armor piercings will do that on you. This is insane. I mean, oh my god, I, I love this. I love this. Feel you there, I guess. Why not? Ow! Excuse me. It's okay. Don't worry about the damage. We'll be fine. Oh, he's debuffed us all with some extra stress. Lovely. Destroy. Do a finale there. Ooh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. This boy has five abilities. Excuse me. We also, so, when I was saying about this, the reason is we've got an ability here. Whoa! Hold up. That's so cool. That's so cool. We have five abilities. I didn't even know that was possible. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. I didn't even know that was a thing we could do in this game. Come on, little one. Let's keep it going. Hey, we've got surprise as well here. Lovely. Get that thing opened up. <laughs> I'm just using all the abilities because I love them. There you go. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Beautiful heal there as well. Okay, but yeah, a little Hollow Knight. He's a, he's a good class. This is such a good crew. My god, I absolutely love this crew. Definitely going to go and do the extra battle here, because even if it's a boss, I think we've got a good crew to kill it. It wasn't, but... The damage these guys are outputting is ludicrous. Ex Pandas! Pandas, do you know, I actually think Pandas the Mad having the Plagic Embrace is, like, just so fitting of how mad he is. Like, I don't want to cure it. <laughs> I don't know, I, like, it, it does evolve, it's already evolved once. I don't know, like, if I have to cure it at some point or not. Another one I'm not falls. sure. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Right, we'll move over here as well. Kind of wish I brought these guys on a longer mission now. This has been so much fun. Honestly, if there's another short mission, I might just take him out on a third short mission. Got a gargoyle. That's our first gargoyle. Might actually use this opportunity to um, to do some stress healing. Destroy them all. A jab coming in, but we get the dodge, baby. We get the dodge. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Hehe, <laughs> look at that little animation and the accuracy buff. Love that. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying to 
look for crits there. Oh, I see. I can't move on purpose. I realise that the reinforcements are going to come here, but I think it's worth it. Oh, bugger. Uh, this might kill him. Wait, no, it won't, no, it won't. Unless it crits, but it didn't. Just... Yeah, reinforcements are coming. That's fine by me. Right, now I can start stress healing. I only want a little bit of stress heal. Pandas! Stop it. Good, good. Hey, good dodge. Another crit there. Beautiful. Sedated. Nice, that worked out. That worked out. This expedition at least promises success. Okay, let's end that. I think I'm actually just gonna go straight out on another one with these exact same guys, you know. All my whole. We reclaim what is ours. Fear of Yokai, it's fine. Ooh, wasting sickness is not great. A fresh wasting sickness is not great. Is there any other healers we could maybe bring with us which we'd want to level up? Rather than bringing the same one. I guess we could bring out Rodriguez with us. Although, how how is your healing? Okay, you can heal from anywhere. Yeah, we can bring you then. Yeah, quickly just open up our thingy here and go doom and doom and then bring you in. Healing's not going to be anywhere near as strong here, but we clearly didn't need much healing there, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, and we're just, just going to go on another short, short level two. Do we have any, sh problem is, do we actually have any short level twos? We have a short level three. I reckon we could tackle it. I reckon we could tackle it. Um, everyone else the same. A disease resist thing is not great, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give this a go. Why not? I've never done this before, but I'm feeling risky. Eighteen food. Um. We don't really need many torches again, so we'll bring out like six. Okay, we are good. And let's uh, let's actually. No, I'm pretty happy with how this is actually. Okay, let's. Uh... Oh wait, oh, 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 oh. hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We didn't check our stagecoach. We have a dark wraith. Tempting. You're observed as well. Nah, we'll, we'll hold off on that for now. My apologies for the back and forth here. Right, back in here again. Okay, let's go. Try this out. I don't want to upgrade anyone because I think they're good enough to do this as it is. And the last diary entry part here from Gaggle Guy. Um, that style would blaze. It's befitting that this general of a man has a scent of the mustache wax and that classic experienced old man smell. And the praise does not end there. Oh no. Why any time Lysander would try to take a hit from any of us, Blaze would command him back on the offensive. After all, he knew from a single glance where my limits lied. 
Um, though I made sure not to reveal my true power of my steed, I fear with how um, with how he's just as perceptive as I am, he'd start asking questions if I that I'd refuse to answer. Perhaps he is just worth that kind of risk. Absolutely love that. Really good stuff. Like I said, if I miss any diary entries, let me know. I don't think I did. I think that's all of them. The halls of your once but yeah, familiar. wanted to give this a go. Uh, explore 90% of rooms. Yes, we have to go through at least one of these. Of course, you have to take the damage straight off the bat, don't you? Intent. You definitely want this buff. Because your damage is absurd already. <laughs> so buffing it's going to be fun. And then back this way we go. Very excited about all of this. Such a fun set of people to bring out. Apologies, you heard my water there. <laughs> Never done three missions in an episode before, but this crew seems befitting of it. Okay. Gotta use torches when there's not many battles between. Wait. Littering okay, this is. A, I said this is a short mission. It is a short mission. Paid for in blood. I was like, "Where's our campfire? Camping wood?" But then I was like, "Oh wait, no. We don't need that when there's no camping to be done, do we?" Nice. A little bit of darkness here. Deck stamp coming in. My only worry is our lack of healing, but I think we should be mostly okay. Wow, that is a lot of stress, my guy. That is a lot of stress. Almost. Rend for the old gods coming out as well. I don't think this little guy can bleed, can he? Can he bleed? He has high bleed resist, okay. I would have thought he would. Oh, that clears horror as well. Awesome. How did your stress get so high so fast? It's ludicrous. We've been out here like two seconds. It, you must have already had high stress before we came out, right? There's no way we gained 65 in like two battles. Wait, this is our first battle, isn't it? Yeah, what the hell? It's too much stress, my guy. What happened to you? The good thing is we can heal ourselves here as well. Get you go in. Maintain the offensive. Heal that up as well. A nail coming out. Enemies do have more HP now, so we've got to be a little more cautious. Not quite one-shotting as we were before, but still things aren't going too bad. Maybe I should start, um... What the hell's this? Maybe I should start making sure that you can, uh, do some stress healing for us, because it's seeming like we're going to need that. Seeming more and more like that's going to be a necessity for us. keep accidentally moving these two. I actually want you there. I don't, I don't want you in your default position. The map inside, does that help us at all? No, it does not. Ooh, whoa, okay. We got something new here. You're going to stress us all out as well. Good, good. I'll right, try and lower stress a little bit here. I don't want to Focus too much on lowering stress just because that could cause problems. Just, oh, really? Wait! No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but. Go with that. A statue. A statue should not have dodge. Come on now. Like. I realize it's living, but it's literally like on a little spire thing. Like, come on, that should not have dodge. You've got to agree with me there, right? This guy, I get it, because he's moving around, but this guy's on like a little spire. He shouldn't have dodge. 
We're definitely taking more damage this time around than we were in the first one. This le extra level of mission has made things a lot harder. I'm going to use Finale on that back eye. We're not doing terribly, though. Damage on you. Just about to say, I don't know what was, what was coming there, but I was scared about it. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them. That didn't even kill it? Wow, okay. As the nice. Thing falls, a faint hope blossoms. I'm going to try and uh, stall for a little bit here to do some extra stuff. Why go for him? Come on now, please don't. They early stunned him, that's not so bad actually. Right, we have to kill now. Really, you got another attack in? I was really hoping I'd get the attack first there, but... Hey, her. Okay, this actually worked out. Now we can kill with Renetta. Okay, that worked out fine. I'm not very happy with your HP right now, but we'll just deal with it, I guess. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. A few more battles to deal with here. Oh, we are all mixed up here. I didn't even rearrange our guys at all. This has armor piercing, so this will do great damage here. What can you do from the back line? I don't actually check what you can do from the back line. Oh, you can do pretty much everything, that's fine. Bring you up. I'm using all his abilities. Hollow Knight may be a bit overtuned in terms of how strong he is, but I absolutely love the class. Really fun. Ooh, minus 50% damage. That's kind of scary. But it don't matter. This expedition at least promises success. Okay, last room to do. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Let's rearrange everyone again because everyone's all out of whack. But the great thing is, it just doesn't matter. I love that. I love having a healer that can heal from anywhere as well. Ooh, lots of stealth here. I wonder if that's because of the Observer guy, or not. Certainly gonna make things tricky for us. 48, 46, okay, do it on yourself then. Extra two rounds of being stealth. We have no de-stealth things, this is gonna be a little bit rough. We're just gonna have to take hits here, I guess, for a few rounds. I'd rather you hit him because he has a self-heal. Really rather you not hit my guy here because he's getting low. Please don't hit him anymore. Oh, I was really hoping for a crit there. Ah, oh, I forgot what did I just say? What did I just say? Don't hit him anymore. Pandas is not looking good right now. Okay, at least they're all de-stealth now. Look at that damage. Oh my god, decimated indeed. Another decimation. Beautiful stuff. That was a ridiculous amount of fun. <laughs> this class setup is so fun. Empty. Unfortunate, but there you go. Another quick quest fit in there. Squeeze in at the end. The shifted corridors and sloped walls of our ancestry are beginning to feel familiar. Stealthy, nice. Heart rot. The shakes. Okay, we're gonna have to get rid of some more diseases here because that's not looking good. A fresh irritant to some. A sanguine memory to me. Right. Quickly, just do this. Boom, and boom. 
And then... It's mainly you we need to get rid of. Good stuff. Who else we got here? Um, no one new, unfortunately. That's just the way it is. Um, we could go for increasing the amount of heroes available each time. But we probably want to focus more on doing some uh, some of this stuff. How far are we off the bank? Portraits-wise, we're still a bit off. But we probably want to save up for the bank at this point. It'd be pretty, pretty darn useful. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I thoroughly have. I think this class is amazing. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.